I think God started his work in me very soon in medical school. I was completely humbled and broken. Just the pressure of performing well and always feeling inadequate. Before I came to medical school, I really prayed for a community of brothers and sisters who can keep me accountable, especially in medical school when it seems like your focus has to be on studying, studying, studying. And when I first joined CMDA small group, I went and God was speaking through the Agenda 515 study that we watched that day. He was speaking through the sisters who shared um, their thoughts about the study and God was using these, these sisters to really speak into my life and keep me accountable. CMDA has been a huge part of my medical school years. I don't know if I could have gone through med, med school without it, honestly. These sisters are the, the sisters I cried with, the sisters I rejoiced with, the sisters who prayed with me uh, in my most difficult times, the ones who encouraged me when I felt like I couldn't do medical school anymore. That community was priceless. CMDA was having a huge impact in a lot of my classmates' lives. I saw many people being encouraged as they were coming to the Docs Forum weekly meetings. When they were being challenged, people were asking questions after some of the talks. People who may have never been exposed even to the gospel were showing up. But also I saw people's lives just being totally changed by going on some of the mission trips with Ken and the CMDA teams. So CMDA was a huge part of keeping me on track. When I first came to med school, uh, I remember clearly the first CMDA at school, uh, Dr. Rick Donlin spoke and he pitched the idea of, of us getting into small groups uh, and helping each other stay on track while we were in med school. And so Dr. Donlin actually started one of those groups and I just remember that fall, he totally shattered the dreams and the thoughts I, that I had for myself in medicine and he really directed them to what the life of a disciple, a true disciple of Jesus should look like who's going into medicine. My wife and I were challenged to begin th ministry and um, things that we wanted to do after we got out of med school and we asked ourselves, you know, why we weren't doing them now, why our lives were on hold during medical school. And so we decided to go ahead and move in uh, to an inner city neighborhood in Memphis because we wanted to be involved with caring for the poor and uh, living among the people that we wanted to serve. Um, so we moved into Binghampton in Memphis and God has been using um, that experience to form many uh, incredible relationships with our neighbors. I spent the summer uh, working alongside Dr. Michael Farmer. Uh, he is a radiation oncologist and involved with CMDA. Uh, it was the most impacting summer I, I've had in my lifetime, I would say. I had never really seen a doctor live out his faith in, in that way and it was just an incredible model for me to have and you know we spent day day after day in the clinic and in the hospital constantly studying the Bible with every spare second that we had in prayer sharing the gospel with patients praying with patients it was just an incredible example of a, a man that was a Christian first and foremost uh, and a doctor second just very encouraging and eye-opening for what I have the potential to be able to do in my practice um, when I am a physician and now in day-to-day -day life. You know, Paul talks about when, when he was a child, he talked like a child, thought like a child, reasoned like a child, and I think, you know, I still have hundreds of childish ways in my walk, but I think CMDA has allowed me to grow more in this year and a half since I've been in Memphis than I ever have in my life. When I came to Memphis, I was a little bit leery. I only knew uh, one or two people, and one of my biggest fears was, am I gonna find a family of believers? My first couple of months were awful. I was so stressed all the time. 
I had a hard time getting to know people, and then I heard about the CMDA Bible study, and when I went, I was instantly greeted with a bunch of smiles and hugs, and I knew I found a place. I think the, the biggest personal thing for me is just seeing how much spiritual growth I've had here in Memphis, in med school, and in this small group. I'd never experienced a small group before, and I just had no idea what I was missing, and I would never want to go back. As hard as med school was, it was worth it, just being able to meet the girls that I did and having this spiritual growth. If CMDA was not here, I don't know that I could have made it for through my first couple of years of med school. The CMDA small group, our Bible study group, was my family, was my love, was my support. I, I just don't think I could have done it without those girls. We shared everything together and I needed that the first couple of years of med school and I think everybody needs that honestly and whether it's just a season of learning how to let other people care for you or how to care for them or learning about discipleship. All those things the CMDA group taught me and I feel like I am now on a platform that I can go forth and succeed in residency and succeed in those anxieties and those fears that I have based on the things that CMDA taught me.